Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial. We are continuing our tutorial series and in today's tutorial we are going to discuss one more time of intelligence function which is end of year. So we have this calendar which is from 2018-0401 to 2021-0331 and now let's try to create a new column which is end of year. So what we are going to do is we are going to have this new column and we are going to call it end year. And let's use function end of year. Now in this end of year, we will, we have to give one date parameter, which we are going to give date. And there is a second more, one more parameter, which is needed end of year. Right now we are not giving. And then let me explain you what happens here. Now by default is end of year is 31st December. So for the first one, you are seeing it correct. But if you go to the last year, you will start seeing that it is giving 331 to 2021. Now this is because, because there is no end of year date available and it requires a continuous date. So if the end of date year is not available, end of year function is going to give you the last date. It's not going to give you null. Now till uh, this one, it is correct. So till 31st December, 2020, it is correct, but post that because there was no calendar date available. So now one way is that I go ahead and make this calendar till 1231. So if I change it to 1231, you will see that I get the correct end date now, but I will continue with 0331 only because I have created a financial calendar and I'm going to have end date also based on the financial current. So how do I do that? So I will go to the end date again and in the end date, I'm going to give 031, 031. Okay. So once I give, give this one, you see that, you know, that my date is started ending on 331. So I have a financial year, which is starting on 1st January, uh, 1st April 2018 and ending at 331, 2019. And if you go ahead and scroll down, you will see the financial year starting on 1st April 2020 and ending at 31st March 2021, which is correct. So end of year can also take the end date and that end date is going to decide uh, how your uh, year is going to end, where it is going to end. And based on that, uh, your end of financial year can be calculated. So simil similarly, we have seen in the past that start year also take an argument, which is end of year and end date also take an argument, which is end of year based on that start year and end year calculations are happening. So try these functions out, but remember these function needs continuous dates. If those dates are not available in your calendar, you may expect, you know, wrong results. So you need to be a bit careful about it. Uh, let us know what else you want us to try. Uh, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new videos. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.